Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys what the yarn section looks like in each of my local stores. That way you get a better idea of kind of what my options are whenever I'm shopping and showing you guys hauls. So yeah, this video is going to include Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne, Dollar Tree, and Walmart. Those are the ones that I mainly shop at. Sometimes I do shop at like Ollie's and things like that, but Ollie's almost always has different yarns in stock. So I didn't really want to include them in this video just for that reason. And almost every time I go to Ollie's, I do film what the section looks like and put it in the video for you guys. And in a lot of like shop with me vlogs, I do that as well. But this is going to be a more in-depth version of like me slowly going through the aisle and then of me telling you what is in each section. Now do keep in mind that I filmed this a little while back, so um, the sale signs and stuff you're seeing are obviously not relevant. Um, this is just to show you what the section looks like, and of course it's going to look different sometimes. Sometimes they're going to have things that are out of stock. Maybe in these clips they have things that are out of stock that are now back in stock, things like that. But um, this is just a general idea of what my options are whenever I am yarn shopping. So with that, let's just get straight onto this, starting out with Hobby Lobby. So when you first walk up to the yarn section, there is this table that has Eternal Bliss on it. And when you go to the first aisle, it is full of every I love this yarn color you can think of and all color coordinated, so it is really satisfying to look at. They even have the neon ones, all of that kind of stuff. And then as you get closer, there is Yarn B towards the end of the aisle, like Yarn B ID and other Yarn B yarns there. And um, that is basically up until the end of the aisle where there is this Yarn B Urban Chic, and that is all for this aisle. Now when you turn around to the next aisle, it starts out with the hand dyed yarns they do offer at Hobby Lobby. And then as you continue onward, they have eyelash yarns. And then they also have a lot of their really soft yarns. So like For the Moment and Velvety Smooth, all of that kind of stuff is right there. And as you continue, there is scrubby yarns. And I love this yarn Sport Weight is right there as well with some more yarn be on top in this section and we're also getting into some cakes as well so again just a lot of the yarn be yarns and a lot of different colors as well and as you continue towards the end of this aisle it is the kind of ready colors again because it's in kind of rainbow order and there is some yarn cakes as well. I think these are the sugar wheel ones. And then as you were switching to the next aisle, this is what the aisle cap looks like. I think that's what it's called, is an end cap on aisle. I don't really know y'all, I'm sorry, but the little section that's like in between aisles, I'm gonna call it aisle cap throughout this video, so I hope that's the right term. But anyway, this is what the aisle cap looks like and it has a bunch of cotton yarns here and then as you continue there is baby yarns on this side so it is a lot of baby b and it starts out with velvety smooth and continues on to baby delight and um, again just in rainbow order for a lot of it and then as you continue it gets to be more cotton yarns so you have your yarn b sugar wheel cotton and you have I love this cotton again with pretty much every color you can think of and again in rainbow order so super satisfying to look at and my Hobby Lobby is definitely the most organized out of any store that you're gonna see in this video so you know we're not gonna get any better than this pretty much but um, as we get towards the end of this aisle this is where they have some of their wools and some of their um, blends that aren't as common so they have some of the Peyton's socks yarn and some of the I love this wool and then on the other side they also have some other kinds of yarns such as alpaca twist by yarn b is right there 
the yarn be chloe yarn is right there so again some more animal fibers and as you continue down there's also some more chunky yarns and just some more yarn be like yarn be true color and we're getting into i love this chunky yarn which is again chunky yarns and again we have a lot more of the chunky yarns that are by yarn bee even burnett forever fleece is here which they do not have a lot of burnett or anything at my hobby lobby and then we have some loop yarns and some burnett tie-dye ish and to continue this aisle it is a lot of yarn bee eternal bliss and some of their other thicker yarns on the end of this aisle now that is it for my hobby lobby so next we're going to move on to joanne which does have the most amount of yarn out of any of my stores that are around me. So a lot of times you're gonna see Joanne hauls over anything else just because of that. And that is my preferred store because of that. And also just to give you a little bit of perspective, Hobby Lobby is about 45 minutes south of where I live, sometimes an hour or even more depending on traffic. And Michaels and Joanne are both relatively close to each other. They're about 25 maybe 20 minutes north of me so they are a lot easier to get to so if you'll notice i do go to joanne a lot more often because even the joanne is a lot easier to get to than michael's and my michael's has a lot smaller of a selection which you'll see throughout this video so i thought this would be again kind of a cool video to show you why what yarn stores are my favorite and um and why some different yarns are my go-to's but anyway Let's continue on next we are starting at joanne which when you get to this first aisle it is kind of a hodgepodge of some yarns that are on clearance when you first start out and then we get to some lion brand yarns so we have some respun and some skein tones hue and me a lot of different yarns there we have mandala cakes so that is that and then we're getting into the cotton yarns so we have lily sugar and cream and we have some scrubby yarns that kind of stuff are in these little rack shelves instead of like regular shelves and again when you are switching aisles this is an aisle cap an end cap on the aisle i'm sorry y'all i do not know the terminology but this is also a lot of lion brand yarn this is go for faux the next aisle has a lot of loop yarns and then that slowly moves into baby yarn so we have baby blanket by burnett as well as the baby blanket double yarn from burnett then i move to burnett baby velvet which i really really love and then we have a lot of other burnett baby yarns as well such as bundle up right there then we're moving to some Red Heart and some Lion Brand yarns, such as the Ice Cream Roving and the Baby Soft. We have some more Burnett again, so that is Softy Baby Cotton. And then we also have Softy Baby. And then towards the end of this aisle is Burnett Baby Sport yarn. And at the end of the aisle is Big Twist Cotton yarn. And there is a little aisle overview and then on the aisle cap again is a lot of Karn one pounds and Karn jumbos right there then moving along to the next aisle is a lot of red heart super savers so y'all will see there is a lot of these so that is another reason why this is one of my go-to's we have a lot of different colors and then moving into lion brand pound of love yarns again a lot of different colors in these and then that slowly moves into karin one pound yarns by yarnspirations and karin jumbo yarns and again a lot of different colors of those again the in between of these aisles is mandala bonus cakes so these are the ones that are a little bigger and then on to the next aisle we have karin simply soft starting this off even some simply soft speckle yarn and again a lot of color options there's also the big twist heather right here moving into a lot of big twist here's big twist value
and then after all of these big twist values there is more red heart super savers so here's some red heart super saver stripes and then some more regular red heart super saver colors and this aisle is actually on the opposite side of the previous aisle so the red heart super savers are all right there together the way i showed it kind of didn't look like it but they are right across from each other now on the end is the scrub off yarns from lily sugar and cream and then moving on to the next aisle is where we have burnett velvet so this is one of my favorite sections i'm sure you all know that and um, a lot of different colors of this and then we have some big twist there as well and some burnette softy chunky some homespun quick and thick so some more line brands there's some hometown right there and some more homespun then we get to the big twist classic yarns which they have some really large skeins of those also some red heart gemstone yarn and some red heart unforgettable also a lot of lion brand so there was lion brand landscapes and lion brand heartland yarn and then moving again to the opposite side so kind of the same aisle but across from it we have the rest of the lion brand yarns so again, there's more Heartland on this side, more different colors. This is even the Tweed, Red Heart, and then Red Heart Huga. And as we're continuing, we get to Big Twist Soft, which again, they have a lot of color options for. I mean, it's Joanne, so of course. Also some Big Twist Living as we are continuing on, which that moves into Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. And then that continues with Red Heart with Love yarns. And again, a lot of color options for those. And then we have some more Karin Simply Soft. This is the Simply Soft Party. And then some more regular Simply Soft yarns. Just some more color options. And just like I explained with the Red Heart Super Savers, that is kind of the opposite side. I was just doing kind of like a zigzag as I was filming, so it didn't look like it was right there next to each other, but it is right across from each other. So Simply Soft and Simply Soft is right here, and then Lion Brand and Lion Brand is right here, if that makes sense. But um, anyways, yes. Moving on to the end of this aisle there is k plus c yarns right here and then around the corner is burnett blanket yarns so these are the burnett blanket extra yarns which is the jumbo ones they're a weight number seven and this does slowly transition into big twist cuddle yarn which again a lot of colors and then that transitions into burnett blanket yarn the regular blanket yarn not the extra and again tons of color options for that and that is basically the rest of this aisle we do have some extra burnett blanket like the color pooling at the end as well as some burnett symphony yarn is at the end right here but that is about it for this aisle and then moving on to the other side we have some more lion brand yarns so it starts out with the wool easy quick and thick yarn which again lots of color options and this slowly moves into the big twist natural blend and that's what we're getting more so into is the blend yarns so right here we have the buttercream alpaca touch yarns so again alpaca Next, we have some Lion Brand Scarfy yarns and Lion Brand Touch of Alpaca. So again, lots of alpaca. And next we have Peyton's Classic Wool and some Fisherman's Wool and Wool Ease, again from Lion Brand. Even some cotton yarns as we continue here, like 24-7 and Prima Cotton, both from Lion Brand. And the end of this aisle, finishes out with again some Peyton's yarn and 
some True Boo by Lion Brand, which is bamboo yarn. So the aisle with the animal fiber yarns that I just showed you and the aisle that I showed you previously with the blanket yarns, this is the in-between section where they do have some shelves and this is what they have there. Which that area is kind of always changing, but this is just what it looked like the day I was there filming. So we do have some Lion Brand Mandala Cakes right here, and they're kind of just randomly placed here, even with some Respun by Lion Brand. On the other side, we have more Loop Yarn, and that is right next to some more Burnett Blanket. Behind that is a lot more of the Loop Yarn, as well as right behind that is even more Loop Yarn. Then we have this little tiny Claret section, with some different stuff like Red Heart Super Saver and Feels Like Alpaca. The next little area we have some Mandala Bonus Cakes and some more Feels Like Yarns by Lion Brand, like this one is Feels Like Heaven. And then we have some Red Heart Roll With It Sparkle Yarns. Again, those are on Clarence. And a little section of some Burnett and some Lion Brand. Again, I think those were on clearance and I think that's why they were there. Next for the little end of the aisle that is right next to the animal fiber yarns is Lion Brand Spectacular. And this is a yarn that I've never tried or anything, but it is always right there. Next, in one of the center areas of the store, they do have a big bin of Lion Brand cover story. And they have two bins of Burnett Blanket Extra Thick, and they were on sale this day. So here's the second one. Again, there is a lot of it. And then another kind of central area, this is actually towards the back where the crochet hooks and the knitting needles are. There is a bunch of Lion Brand yarns that are actually in blue for the Hat Not Hate program that they do where people make hats and donate them in the color blue. So that is what that is for right there, which says make a hat stand up to bullying. So again, I think it's a really great cause. And if there's still time as of filming this, I'm going to look into it and uh, do it myself. And maybe by the time this video is up, you guys are still able to do it. Um, if it is still a thing, I'll link it below for y'all. But that's what this little section is. Right next to that, they have some more Burnett, regular Burnett blanket and tie-dye-ish, as well as some Symphony. Then they have the Lion Brand Schitt's Creek yarn from the show Schitt's Creek. So around the corner, they have a lot of Lion Brand Vanna's Choice yarn, as well as on the bottom there, there is some Big Twist Comfort yarn. This is another end of the aisle that I missed earlier, and this has some Ogos here. Another kind of central area in the store has Big Twist Tubular Yarn, which is again one that I've never tried. Another end of the aisle has some more Ogos. And this final little area has a lot of Lion Brand Pound of Love that is on both sides of this. And then both sides of this is more Ogos. So that is kind of everything other than this little box area where they have some more Clarence yarns, specifically Burnett Softy Cotton for some reason. And um, that is basically all of it. So the next store I went to is Michael's. So that's what I'm going to be showing you next. These little areas that I'm starting out with were in the front of the store. They're not always there. But I think just because it was a sale that day, they had it out right there. So that is what I'm showing you next. And then we'll move on to what the aisles actually look like. So this is a lot of Burnett. They had the Forever Fleece as well as regular Burnett yarns here. On this side, they have some Burnett Blanket Big. And then moving to the other side, more Burnett Blanket Big. Again, a lot of it because it was on sale. And we also have the Eco by Loops and Threads yarn over here. And some cotton yarns and baby yarns. 
kind of mixed in right here. We have this little clearance area that has a combination of burnet and loops and threads yarn. And then this is their small little area of Ogo yarns and some more loops and threads and burnet blanket on that side. Now moving on to the aisles. As you're walking up to the yarn section, they have this little area with Lion Brand skein tones. Then they have the Karn cotton funnel cakes right behind there. Then moving into the first actual yarn aisle, there is a lot of loops and threads impeccable. Like pretty much every color of it that you can think of. And that is almost like half of the aisle to be honest with you. Then it moves into some other loops and threads yarns which then transitions into more loops and threads. This is the Eco Lux and some cozy wool, which I actually think was in the wrong spot. But um, then we move in to some more Lion Brand that is actually really similar to Simply Soft, at least I think. And it makes sense because it's right next to Car and Simply Soft yarns. And then this moves into a lot of the Lion Brand yarns. So right before the Lion Brand, there is some Red Heart Unforgettable, but then we have Lion Brand Heartland, Lion Brand Landscape, so a lot of Lion Brand right here on the end, Hometown, and Homespun, all of that is right there. Moving along to the opposite side of this aisle, there is Burnett Softy Chunky Yarn, and then we get into the Blanket Yarns, which is kind of a mess if I'm being honest with you. It's not always this bad, but it just happened to be this time. But there's some more loops and threads as well. And then the blanket yarns. A lot of loops and threads, blanket yarns, but a lot of the skeins of that seem to be really undone or have missing tags, things like that. So I couldn't really tell you what they are. We do have a couple of skeins that do look pretty decent though, like the loops and threads chenille home right here. And there is some more of that up top. And then moving along, there is some of the Loops and Threads Velvet yarns. So that is Royal Velvet. But then we're moving on to Burnett Velvet. Which they do have a few color options, but as you can tell, not as much as my Joanne does. Then we're moving in to more Blanket yarns. So they have a lot of Burnett Blanket Big, specifically in this area and it does slowly transition into regular Burnett Blanket. What I find with Michaels, especially my local one, is they have a lot of one color, whereas Joann's has a little bit of a bunch of different colors. So that's more so what I like because I'm more so into making things like Squishmallows and stuff, but if you're gonna actually use Burnett Blanket for blankets and you're gonna need like five skeins of it, then you may want to go to somewhere like Michaels instead. So. Again, that's just what I find the difference between my local ones. But next, we are moving on to the Karn Cakes section, which there is the Skinny Cakes and the Latte Cakes, as well as the Chunky Cakes right there. So a lot of Karn Cakes right there on that end. And then as you come around the corner, the next aisle has Baby Yarns. So the first couple of ones are... Burnett Softy Baby and Peyton's Beehive Baby Sport. So again, quite a lot of that there. And this does slowly move into some Lion Brand Pound of Love and then Burnett Baby Blanket, which again, they have a lot of the same colors and not very many color options. Whereas Joanne has a lot of color options, but not as many of the same colors. So like at Joanne, you may only be able to get like five of one color, and at Michael's, you may be able to get like ten of one color. So that's just what I find the difference to be. But we also have some sweet snuggles, which I do really like from Loops and Threads. Then we're moving in to the more animal fiber yarns again. So we have the Wool Easy from Lion Brand, and some more Lion Brand yarns, as well as some Burnett, which I think was kind of in the wrong spot but um there is some loops and threads as well this is the cozy wool again and we have the scarfy yarn from lion brand we have the peyton socks yarn again 
and as we continue on there is cotton yarns as well this is where all the lily sugar and cream is and then as we continue there is a lot of other yarns a lot of them being cotton but on the end it is true boo from lion brand which like we said at joanne is bamboo yarn now on the opposite side of this aisle which this is the last yarn aisle starts out with craft smart yarn which is the brand from michael's and they're actually out of a lot of them right now as of filming this but um of course there is a lot still there and they do have a lot of red heart super savers as well on the end right there and the rest of this aisle is just basically thread and knitting needles crochet hooks all that kinds of stuff that is loops and threads and then as you go down there's susan bates and then we have other brands like clover and stuff as you continue some yarn bowls as well that kind of stuff but that is pretty much it for my local michaels so next we have walmart which is basically only one aisle but they do have quite a lot and compared to some of my other local walmarts this is the most yarn i've ever seen and this is the walmart that's closest to me which makes me very happy but um we first have the mainstays 100 percent acrylic yarn as you are first walking into the aisle again a lot of different colors of that then we have a ton i'm telling you guys a ton of red heart super saver they have the metallic right there for some reason but then they have all the regular as well as the ombre right there and as you move along there is also these stripes and there is some of the mainstays mixed in like the mainstays sparkle acrylic yarn and then we have these stripes continuing on for red heart super saver like this one is jumbo stripes mainstays anti-pilling yarn randomly but we have some burnett yarns as well like baby blanket and baby sport and then there is lion brand hometown some more burnett baby sport right there as well as some wool ease and some premiere yarns like premiere puzzle right there and as you continue we have some more mainstays yarn such as the chenille yarn right there and the chenille chunky yarn as well and there's a lot of that as well and then there's some more premiere this is the premiere bloom yarn we also have the burnett casa yarn with some regular burnett blanket all around this section and then it starts to move into the cotton yarns just above that there is some more anti-pill acrylic yarn from mainstays in this top row then there is a 100 percent cotton from walmart lion brand summer nights is in this little aisle below that is the mandala baby cakes and the sparkle also below that is mandala ombre which they have a lot of options of and then we just have peaches and cream cotton yarn as the rest of the yarn basically so they have the bigger skeins the smaller skeins the colorful skeins all of that and the little bit of yarn that is left is scrubby yarn and the rest of this aisle is knitting needles crochet hooks all kinds of tools and then there is some embroidery thread at the end of this aisle but that is kind of it for the yarn section at my local walmart and at dollar tree the yarn section can always look different sometimes it's very disappointing and sometimes they're surprisingly a lot but this is just the dollar tree that is closest to my house probably like three minutes away it is the closest store that sells yarn and then walmart being about like eight to ten minutes away um this particular time they did only have two boxes of yarn one box that said premier just yarn on it but actually had mostly crafter square yarn which crafter square is the primary brand at dollar tree and then one little tiny box that had maybe like six skeins in it and that was pretty much it for the yarn at dollar tree on this day now i did record a little section that actually had little storage containers in it 
but that is the area that used to be filled with yarn so i don't know if they're just selling out of the yarn really quickly or what's happening but there was not much to choose from at all especially for Premier. my local dollar tree this time didn't even have any chenille or any other kinds than just yarn from Premier and crafter square the regular acrylic now i do have a store that is a little bit farther away from me that i do go to sometimes and that's where i get the chenille and the things like that that's actually really close to michael's and all of that but um recently i have not been going to dollar tree as much did a video on it actually seeing how much i could get for ten dollars at walmart versus dollar tree and when i broke down the math for the yardage and all of that it did end up being cheaper at walmart and that was before dollar tree raised their price to a dollar 25 per item you buy at dollar tree so um now that that's the case i have not bought too much yarn at dollar tree at all because their skeins are really small so you need a bunch of them and now that they're a dollar 25 in my opinion it's definitely not worth it it might be good if you're a beginner and you just want to try out yarn but in my opinion for someone like me that as a yarn hoarder basically not a good deal but um that is everything for all of my local stores so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like it was really long so i apologize but um hopefully it kind of gave you an idea of why i like to shop at certain stores and why i like certain brands such as burnett like my joanne has so much burnett so that's why i end up getting so much burnett and my walmart has so much red heart super saver and so does my Joanne, so that's why I end up getting so much Red Heart Super Saver. So I hope all of it kind of makes sense, and this way you guys get a little bit of an idea of what the yarn section looks like whenever I am shopping and showing you hauls. But that is all for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if any of my local stores compare to how your local stores look or maybe if your michaels is bigger than mine or your joanne is smaller than mine or whatever it is i would love to hear all of that below from you guys and if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on any videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my Etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias my vlog channel and my rippler shop all of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys and with all of that thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye